I wish you were here. Yo, Pete, Maddie. Hello. You guys submit all your applications already? Hi, hey, Maddie. Sir, now we just have to wait on the results. So, what happened? Are you going to the same school? Of course, we're going to the same school. She's going to send me a good news and I'm going to get degree from making. I didn't know she's going to be one of the best film designers in the Caribbean. And hey, you and me, we're going to be the best filmmakers in the region. You feel me? You know it, bro. Are you serious? You seriously want to go into filmmaking? Your mother been telling you not to do anything like that for years now. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, they complaining now, but when I send them thousands for my salary, they're not gonna be complaining though. <laughs> you got a point. They're complaining don't mean nothing to me right now. Nothing gonna stop me from becoming a film director. You can't become a director right here. What did you say? I was telling you that our team has reviewed your documents and given the things that you have submitted. Chances of getting study financing is unfortunately very low. As I was saying, filmmaking is not a priority on our priority list. This is why our chances of getting study financing is so low. But there's still no chance for me to get financed, right? There would be if your grades were exceptional. However, your grades painfully below average besides art and literature. I'm so sorry to have to inform you this either. The application period is still open. You can always reapply to become the Thank director. you, Mrs. Robinson. I'll keep your suggestion in mind. So what now? That was our last chance at getting financial aid. How are we going to become directors now? <laughs> I have an idea. Our speaker has many aims to help other Middle East students who are in the School of Professional Arts. We also want to give them the opportunity to, opportunity to have experience in the field. And provide financial aid to students who choose to travel abroad. With that, this is the end of our proposal. Feel free to ask any questions. Well, boys, thank you for making an effort to put together this presentation. I admire your enthusiasm, but I'm sorry to say that I won't be able to have this one. I suggest that you forego the film studio concept and develop a tutoring business instead. I'm positive that my company will have no problem investing in that kind of idea. Man, my parents are gonna be happy about this. I wonder how much longer I've got to take me out. Maybe I should think about getting a job. It seems like we took out the rough too. Mom? No. Chamber could be right? No. I don't know if I do that happen. Hey, yo, Pete. Let me keep it real with you, boy. I don't think we should go into that right now. Maybe it's just not for us. You hear all you say? Huh? You hear that bullshit that coming out your mouth? Come on, Pete. Be reasonable here. Be reasonable. Come on. We ain't got that much options. The hell you mean we alter options? You acting like that proposal was the only chance. Like the only three angel investors on the island. Yo. I ain't gonna let no old people tell me I can't become a film director, okay? I was made for this. We should have stopped there. I wish we stopped there. Unfortunately, no. Unfortunately, I cannot. I'm sorry, but no.
I don't get it. I mean, I knew things were bad, and I can tell you were getting discouraged, but still, why end your life? Why couldn't you have just held off for at least another day? Why can't you be here to see your dream come true? But if you don't want to see it, how does that? It's not going to Ah, not getting rid of me that easily. Not your back, always. That's why I have to do this.
looks like our dream is finally becoming a reality. And I have your stubbornness with this proposal to thank for it. It's your stubbornness that led me to the man that I am today. I could not be a more grateful man. I know you aren't here with me physically, but I know in spirit that you're still living out our dream and you're still watching over me and having my back like I always have yours.